Hello, welcome back to the happy heart. I've come outside because the weather's not terrible for a moment, but I'm going to show you everything that I earn on this YouTube channel. I'm going to have all the stats on screen here. We're gonna be going through my click-through rates, my RPM, that's how much YouTube pay me per 1,000 views. I'm going to show you which videos are doing well. And I'm also going to take a peek at my three new YouTube channels, which might be a terrible idea. Um, so I'm not sure if I'll even leave this bit of the intro in the video, but I've also got some stats to see how close I am to not getting 1,000 subscribers or 4,000 hours of watch time on those to get monetized. But anyway, this channel is monetized and it's the place where I try to help high achieving creators and performers just like you, high five, to get ideas out of your head and out onto here on YouTube to make the world happy but this video is about making the world money. Uh, so this feels slightly vulnerable to, to show you everything on my mobile device. I'm in, I'm in the UK, so we call it a mobile. Mobile. <laughs> but here's the app right here on the screen. As you can see, I have 4,174 subscribers. Thank you to each and every one of you. Hint. You also get an overview of how the channel's doing. And as you can see on my analytics, my watch time is down to 600 hours, roughly. 21,000 views, subscribers, about 135 so far in the last 28 days, and I'm doing about $100 a month. And this is why, this is why I haven't done this video for a while. I was making these videos where I go through how much I earn every single month, but as you can see on screen right here, my revenue has taken a complete dive and there's a reason for that. If you're a regular on the channel, you'll know that I removed half my videos. Guess what? It, <laughs> it removed about half of my revenue. But some of my best earners weren't niche. I wanted to niche this channel to help high achieving creators and performers just like you. High five. Uh, so I took away all my gardening videos and all of my UK specific things. They've gone to another channel and I might go through that channel in a moment. That's my latest video, which is doing very well on the average view duration. If you scroll down on the app, it shows you the last three videos and some comments. Well, there's some very kind <laughs> comments there. That could have been a lot worse, couldn't it? Let me dive into analytics. So I'm gonna click on view more. In the last 48 hours, this is pretty regular. I get about 1500 views. And these are my top videos. You can see my top video is how to link your YouTube channel to other channels channels but I'll skip back and just go into more detail on some of the other channel level statistics so I'm getting about 600 hours a month if I open up the time scale to the last 90 days it's pretty much the same and if I open that up to the year you can see that big drop that big drop there ding is where I unlisted and moved all of my videos that are not about making YouTube videos. I've moved them onto another channel. The links are, are in the description if you want to take a look at them. But you can see the effect on my watch time. It's pretty much halved my watch time. And if I pull up the lifetime statistics for my channel, well, it doesn't even make sense, does it? Because uh, I've been running this channel since about 2009. So if I scroll over and just look at the last few years, so just when I was monetized, you can see I had a crazy spike in March 2020. And let's open it up. I'm just pinching the app graph with my fingers. So you can see that really strange peak which was for a video that's not very niche and then a trough and then it, the channel started doing very well let's zoom in wow we've got some military helicopters going over now it's because i'm sharing the good stuff with you <laughs> it's time for a drink oh dear it's the local air ambulance that kind of puts things in perspective if you think your channel's doing bad well, just cheer yourself up with the thought that you're not using an air ambulance today, I guess. There was a time when I was getting 10 subscribers a day. That's probably nearer five subscribers. And it's been like that for this year. If I put in the last 365 days, that's what I'm doing on the subscribers. What do you think? Are your statistics like this? Leave a comment. I'd love to hear how your channel is doing. Now my estimated revenue, which unfortunately is pretty accurate, I'm getting about $100 a month. And again, that is since I removed the videos. If I pinch to open up 
you can see I was doing about $12 or so eight to $12 a day. Now that's just tanked to something really low. That spike there is from a very kind friend dropping $20 into a super chat <laughs> and it really stands out. But this is pretty much how much revenue I get a day. So in the last year, and I'm really grateful for this, I've pulled in $2,000. I'm hoping that the revenue will go up in the run up to Christmas. So I'm in September 2021 at the moment. And I'm really hoping that we might be doing more than we. I might be doing more than $100 a month. So in the last 28 days, the, the nice little pictures have gone, but you can see the titles. So my top video is about featured channels. That's how to add other channels to your channel. So you get a little list of channels on your featured channels tab. If I go into the analytics for the video, you can see that the average view duration for my top video on my channel right now is one minute and eight seconds. That's, that's not quite so helpful. I wish it were longer, but the views are insane. It's clocked up 20,000 views in, what, two thirds of a year, so that's good. I'll click on go to video analytics. Using the app, we can deep dive into how this video is performing. So I get about 90 watch hours, pulls in 44 subscribers a month, that's good. Can you see along the top of the page there on my app, it says overview. So I'll scroll across to reach and wow, the click through rates on this video is 16 which is really good. I think my channel average is about 8%. Now this is the percentage of viewers who click on this video based on being served a thumbnail. So the thumbnail and the title are clearly doing, doing the business. And most of my traffic is coming from YouTube search, so 88%. And I'll scroll down even further to those external sources. So 60% comes from Google search. And you can also see your top YouTube search terms. These are the search terms that are leading to people coming to my channel, but the percentages are quite low. The highest percentage is how to add channels to our YouTube channel. This is new on the app, on the YouTube studio app. I can also see the top videos which have suggested viewers to come to my video. And if I click on this, I don't understand why it lists this video as the top source suggesting this video. I'm guessing maybe this indicates how many people come directly to this video. The next best referrer is this one here, how to add a feature channel. So this is, a tut this is someone else's tutorial video. 2% have come from one of my videos about changing your YouTube name, and it actually refers me to that video which is useful. Piggy meme review has brought 2% of my videos suggesting this. Should we have a look? Okay, this meme here, uh, your piggy, uh, ah, okay, no, nah, I've already seen that. I have no, why does this I have what? no idea why. So it's, it's interesting, but I'm not sure it's actually that useful. It's helpful to see where your viewers are coming from, uh, but I'm not sure that enables me to do anything with that information. If you disagree, please leave me a comment. I might be missing something there. Audience retention, you, that nosedive there, can you see that big dip in the graph? That is because that's the part of the video. I've basically told the viewer what they've come to, to hear and it's doing 96.7% likes, that's nice. The audience for this video happens to be 82% male and weirdly 100% between that age bracket. I. I don't want to question YouTube statistics, but that seems very strange and not very likely. The top geography is the United States, which is good because United States viewers pay the most, as you might already know if you're monetized. Let's go to the revenue. This is what you want to see, isn't it? For that one video, I'm getting about $18 a month. The RPM, this is how much YouTube pays me per 1,000 views for this one video. So it pays me about $4 per 1,000 views. It's a short video. I find if my videos are longer than eight minutes, the revenue per 1,000 views is so much higher. Let's compare this now to how my overall channel is doing. So back onto my channel analytics. We still have the tabs along the top, so I'm gonna scroll over to reach. Reach shows you where your viewers come from. So impressions is how many thumbnails 
are served basically. And if I compare that for the year, my impressions have halved as a result of removing half of my videos. My click-through rate, as you might already know, the click-through rate is what percentage of your viewers are clicking on your thumbnails. But my click-through rate, if anything, has gone up in the last year. Not by a lot, but you can see it was dithering at around 6% and now it's dithering at between 6 and 9%. So that's a good sign for me. I think that tells me that it was a good thing to niche my channel. My click-through rate has gone up. Not that I'm seeing that in, in money terms yet, but... <laughs> <laughs> but I'm glad the CTR has gone up there. Overall for my channel, I get about 50% of my views come from YouTube search and about 30% come from external. I have been putting my videos onto my blog, which I think is a really good idea. I think that's really worked well for me. I think it helps with with Google search and I think it helps refer viewers to me from the blog. I also tweet out my videos. I put them on Facebook and LinkedIn as well, but I think if anything that might be harming my views. I think they click through the video through curiosity, so they're not actually there to watch the whole video, they just want to see it because they've seen it on their feed. So for me, putting videos out on social media I don't think works very well. The top videos suggesting my content, you can see now what other videos on YouTube are referring viewers to your channel but I'm not sure there's anything that I can do about affecting this so I'm not sure how useful it is let's go over to engagement no let's not go over to engagement you want to see the money don't you show me the money so for my channel revenue I'm getting $101 for the last 28 days if I compare that with the last 90 days pretty much the same in the last year it's tanked <laughs> It has really tanked since I removed those videos. Let's go back. I don't want to look at this anymore. My RPM, that has stayed at the channel level. That has stayed pretty much the same for the year. Uh, so around the, the $6 level. Overall, my lifetime RPM is $2.55. But I, I think that includes the time from when I was monetized before. And YouTube removed monetization from anyone who had under a thousand subscribers. But if it, if it is of use or interest, you can see how my RPM has fluctuated. And you can see that really nice hump from September to Christmas last year. The RPM does go up from $6 to around $9 or $10. I'm really hoping that that will happen again this year. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> What's your RPM? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know how my RPM compares with everyone else's obviously and that's probably why you're watching this video these are my top earning videos it's not a very pretty screen but the feature channels is pulling in $18 there's a huge drop to the next level of videos I've got a tutorial on how to fast forward and rewind videos on YouTube that's $5 a month oh this video I made years ago when my kids were really young and drawing all over the car that video is still pulling in three dollars a month which i'm delighted by that's amazing that something i made about six years ago is now bringing in three dollars a month it's wonderful isn't it youtube my brain at the moment as a youtube creator is to just keep making videos because the more videos i put out then the more videos i've got out there pulling in one or two dollars a year obviously it's not enough to to live on but in my brain i'm still thinking oh if i could just make two videos a week then i'll always be increasing my revenue by one or two dollars a month <laughs> for each video so say i made 10 videos i mean that could be 10 or 20 dollars a month that my income increases and then of course i hit i hit a wall and then <laughs> see the futility of it just think what's the point because you know you can't live on a hundred dollars per month in a in a western economy i don't know where in the world you're watching you might be watching on another continent and this might actually look like a lot of money to you and if it is good luck let me know in the comments i'm going to keep going because i'm learning so much from these experiments here on youtube i've spread out my experiment now so what i'm doing now is making three other channels i wonder if i can pull them up here now some of these channels are dead 
<laughs> Some of them are very active. So I've got a, a travel channel, Neil's Trains and Stops, that's at 93 subscribers. I've got my Dad Delivers vlog, which I think is my favorite channel at the moment. That's on 400 subscribers. And my IKEA Dad channel is on nearly 180 subscribers. So Dad Delivers is where it's at. And I think I've stopped making videos so frequently on this channel to try and get some more videos on that channel. Should we go in? Oh, this is gonna make this video long. There's a little sneak peek on how I'm doing on Dad Delivers. I'm gonna make a whole video about this, I think, and I'm gonna show you how many views that I'm getting on this other channel. It's almost the same amount of views and watch time that I'm getting on this channel, but obviously it's not monetized yet. If I could get this other channel monetized, that could double my revenue to $200 a month which would be great. It's taking so long. The number of subscribers, I only get about one and a half subscribers a day on that channel. So it would take me another two years to hit a thousand subscribers. I've hit the 4,000 hours watch time because the videos are good. I know they're good because they worked on my other channel before I removed them. Let's dive in here. Yeah, look, I'm getting like 600 hours a month and on my lifetime for this channel I've, I've hit the 4,000 hours easily it's just the subscribers and the, the problem with that channel is that the, the videos do really well on search there are lots of how to's you know how to change a line on a streamer which are, they do really well on search and people watch them and think thank you very much that's all I needed to know and <laughs> move on it's not so good for gaining subscribers so I think my plan with that channel is to make it a bit more personal. Try and make videos that, that people would, might want to come back to. I'll cover all of that on the other video and I'll put that video on screen now and in the description. But if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I hope this video helps. And right here is what YouTube thinks you'd love to watch next. Good luck with your channel. Let me know how your channel's doing. I'd love to know.